hungry for the Lord. Oh, ye desperate for the presence of God. Oh, ye radically hungry children of God. Oh, ye Jesus lovers in this generation. Oh, ye people of God that don't care about the opinions of the world around you. Thus says the Lord, you shall encounter that which you search. Oh. Surrender is when Abraham takes Isaac, brings it to the altar, and he is not taking his knife and saying, God, I'm waiting. Are you going to stop me now? <laughs> yeah, you would hear no voice then. Because that's not total surrender. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Somebody asked me, how do I know if I have surrendered everything? It's a good question. It's a good question. What do you do? Can I have your iPad, please? You see, I took his iPad. But do you think he surrendered his iPad? I'll tell you no. Because he, the, look at the way he's sitting. Can you see the way he's sitting? <laughs> the way he's sitting, he's saying, I have to get up again, right? I have to get up again. He's not relaxing. See, now he's, now he's, okay. So he's saying, just in case I need to get up to get the iPad back. I don't have to go all the way back in my seat. So he's sitting in the edge saying, okay, can I get my iPad back? He gave me his iPad, but not in his heart. His heart is still holding the iPad. <laughs> Sometimes he wants to give me the iPad. Now he's saying, no, 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 prophet, you can keep the iPad. But another part of his brain is saying, you can keep the iPad, but can I have my notes back? He's saying, how about I have it back for one day? I'll take a computer, put, move all this information into that, and then I can give you the iPad, right? So, so, so surrender is when he can see the iPad on the altar and have no feelings towards it anymore. <laughs> surrender is when you've brought the iPad, you can see it, but you don't desire it anymore. Surrender is when Abraham takes Isaac, brings it to the altar. And he is not taking his knife and saying, God, are you sure? God, are you sure? Are you sure? I, uh, God, you're going to stop me now, right? You're going to stop me now, right? God, I'm waiting. Are you going to stop me now? <laughs> yeah, you would hear no voice then. Because that's not total surrender. When Abraham brought his son Isaac to sacrifice because he heard a voice, he wasn't thinking that God is going to stop him. They, some people say he was 19 years old. Some people say he was 25 years old. Whatever. He was no more a child. Can I give you some secrets? If you study the life of Isaac, there is no angel coming in. There is no sort of dream. He jumps up and says, God is here. No, no. Isaac lives a very silent life. And yet, he is known as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. You know why? The moment he surrendered himself on the altar, that was all what he needed for the rest of his lifetime. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services.